Welcome back to another episode of Dream 4 Chapters where today following on from where we left off yesterday in our in a very weird scenario. They're on some kind of lockdown. I'm guessing because of me. Jeeva. Jeeva. That sounds familiar. Wait. Helena Chang's company. My mother. They're on some kind of lockdown. I'm guessing uh, because of me. What do they do in this lab? Bioengineering, definitely, but what exactly? I can run as well, that's good. Observation. Heavy duty. They could easily lock down this entire place. Oh, okay. What? Why do I have access to this one? One nine. Faith. Faith. As in my half sister, Faith. What? One five. Hope. One three. Hannah. One, one, Zoe, Jesus, what, what does this mean? Was that my incubation pod? What? This is weird. They're scanning molecular structures, people, brains. They're scanning molecular structures, yeah. people, brains. Oh. This is Unit 7 proceeding towards sequencing. Affirmative Central will find prior rows. Se he's going to sequence in any. Oh. Go, 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 go. What the hell is going on? Shit. I'm trapped. Oh. This is not Briar Rose. Shoot to kill. What? No, 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 no. Target's down. Repeat, the target's dead. Affirmative. Head back to bioengineering. There may be witnesses. Take care of them. Affirmative, Watty Central. Watty Central? Who did he just shoot? And what is this? Where am I? Underground? And what are those blue lines? Oh. You're not gonna leave or anything? I get past. Poor guy. I hate to do this, but I need this more than you. I'm sorry. Go, go, go. Is this one? Oh, he's just killing everybody. What the? Shut the door. Oh. I moved. Ah. 
Ah, oh, jeez. I'm just gonna come back at him. Ah. There we go. Nope. It's stopping. Dad? Zoe. Why? Don't... Stop! Don't move or I shoot. We got her. She's in the core. I repeat, target is in the core. Stay there. Everyone stay exactly where you are. Hello, Zoe. Lady, I told you. Mom. Helena. Dad, what's going on? What is this place? You need to get out of here. Now. Everyone, stop talking! Huh, gas the whole place. What the hell? Okay. Well, that was weird. And we're back over in Arcadia. The new age. Goddess, protect me. I pray I'm doing right by you. We cannot let outsiders dictate the future of our empire. The Prophet is a tool, and so is this engine. Your light is eternal, Goddess. Under my watch, it will reach the darkest corners of the world and beyond. Behold, the mechanical revolution, an end to magic. The dawn of enlightenment. Witness the engine and its awesome powers. Looks like magic to me. Another jump. Where are we going this time? We're going back to Kian. With Paul. Without Crow. Aww. Please respond. Shit. We can't even get out of here with those soldiers trying to break in. Uh, yeah. About that. Uh, is it just me? Or is it, uh... Quiet? The soldiers must have left. Something's going on. We need to move. Now, if we can't get through to Kian, or if he's... dead, we need to get into the town. This is incapacitated. But how? If the Azadi really have abandoned their posts? Through the front door. That sounds incredibly dangerous. I'm sure it will be. Let's go. There you are. Mum? What? Where's Dad? You must have a lot of questions. Hey, why? Why am I locked up in here? Let me out! I can't do that, but I promise I'll explain. Just try to relax. Please, I... Is that... Dad? Dad! Dad, what's happening? Let me out! He can't. 
Not yet. What did you do? I had to subdue him. There's so much at stake, I can't afford anyone getting overly emotional. Whatever she's done to me, she is my biological mother. That must mean something to... Even though Helen is my mother, she clearly has little empathy for me. Pleading may be pointless, but maybe she'll respond to anger. Uh... Hmm... Whatever she's done to Please. Me, please, let me out. Please. Please. <laughs> Oh, Zoe, please pull yourself together. <laughs> After we're done, you can leave. You and Gabrielle. That was the deal. Done? With what? The culmination of 30 years of research. My life's work. Rebooting the world. What? I will explain, and hopefully you'll understand. But first, I do need you to calm down and be rational. Nothing good will come from panicking. Calm down? She's right. There's no point fighting this. Not yet. Sure. Calm down. You've locked me inside a pod! If you could just calm down for a moment, I'll explain why. Just... Just stop fighting me. She's okay. Right. That's better. Deep breath, Zoe. Now listen to me. For the past year and a half, you've been in a coma inside Jeeva's labs in Mumbai. You've been dreaming. No, that's not possible. Hold on, I'm not saying it's all been a dream. Everything you've experienced has been real. That's what's so amazing and exciting, Zoe. While you were dreaming, you projected a physical binary of yourself into the waking world. Think of it like... Entangled particles, one copy here in my lab, and one in Europolis. You dreamed yourself a new life in Propast, and it came to be as real as anything. But why? Two reasons. Misdirection, to keep Wadi Corp off our backs, and more importantly, to trigger your memories and activate your latent powers. We needed you to return to that... <sighs> that parallel other world to find and absorb a primal source of dreaming energy to fulfill your potential Lux are you there? you have a unique skill you must have realized this by now you can reshape reality I'm a dreamer there have always been stories of those born with the power to change the world but I couldn't wait around for that to happen so your father and I made you how's Gabrielle involved what did he do they were married of course they made me what does she mean oh um I don't know whether I get to ask how's both Gabrielle involved uh, they were how's Gabrielle involved? yeah how my father we were partners and you were the first experiment our first creation we designed you. The first manufactured dreamer. You were born in this lab. There were other experiments. Half-sisters. Faith, of course, the final girl. She was a mistake. And you met Hannah not so long ago. She was the second experiment, after you. You were drawn to each other. And she was drawn here. To Angana. To the dreams. I know she's in Mumbai, but she's not strong enough to affect anything. She poses no threat. None of them worked out, not the way we intended. And I didn't think you would either. So I let your father take you away when you were a toddler. He cared so much about you. He was willing to give up everything, his life, his career. Me? How could I say no? It wasn't until you connected to a dream machine that I realized your powers were there, only latent. That's why I put you in a coma and brought you back here. I did it to protect you. If I hadn't, Wadi would have taken you. Your father had no choice but to come along. He did what he had to do to keep you safe. We both did. We saved your life, Zoe. And we made a deal. Gabrielle would help me finish what we'd begun. We'd be partners again. And then, afterwards? 
he could take you home. I'd leave you alone. The deal still stands once we finish changing the world. Helena is clearly unstable. Did she just say what I think? Yeah. Changing what? Changing everything. For the better. I need you to understand this. We're going to remake the world. You and I. How? I don't have time to go into details, but... There's a place we go when we dream. Story time. Different cultures have different names for it. The Aranda people of Australia call it dream time. Think of it as the initial state of all matter and energy in every possible universe. The blueprint. All realities originated in this initial state and they remain entangled, evolving one universe affecting another. Wave energies are fueled by dreams. Particles in our world are entangled with particles in Arcadia because they were created together in story time. Eingana has the power to change the wave field and thus the observable universe through dreams. Mm. What about my friends in Propast? What about Reza? Were they just dreams? How does Arcadia fit into the puzzle? If that wasn't a dream, then what is it? Wati, the dream machine. They must somehow be connected to Helena and Jiva. Uh, what about my friends? Yeah. If I dreamed myself into Europolis, what about Reza? My friends, were they? Dreams? No, you don't understand. They're real. All of it was real, Zoe. You were there, in Propast, a physical projection walking amongst real people. A three-dimensional copy made flesh using the power of dreams. And they never realized. Well, at least most of them didn't. I sent someone to protect you in case anything went wrong. It's a good thing I did, too. Oh, that guy. Out of control. Falk Friedman saved your life. As for Reza, it's more complicated. He's been an unwitting agent of Wati. His reckless investigations caught their attention. They needed to manipulate the press and they wanted to keep an eye on you. He was an easy tool, so they brainwashed him. We'll fix Reza, I promise. Jill? Yeah. How does Ar and Arcadia? One of many worlds spawned from dreams. A world of... <sighs> I, I'm a scientist. I don't understand magic. It's chaotic, complex, and unpredictable. Magic is dangerous, and it has no place in a rational universe. But we needed it. We had to bridge the divide in order to store these vast quantities of dream energy. We put things in motion to return you to Arcadia, but you did most of the work yourself. Of course, we had help on, on the other side, a, a partner, but he didn't... You did it on your own, Zoe. You were compelled to connect with the primal force that inhabited the initial state before this universe. That was only possible by crossing the divide. Something called you there. Some force guided you. I, I don't know how to quantify it or explain it. But you succeeded. You absorbed the energy, and it didn't kill you. You got stronger. Strong enough to wake up and break out sooner than anticipated, but... The timing ended up being perfect. You've reached your full potential. You're finally ready to interface with Eingana. What? Wati. E so <laughs> what's Wati Corp's role in this? Wati funded us, funded the development of the Dream Machine. We needed to collect and store Dream Energy. The Dream Machine facilitated that. They thought we were working for them, not the other way around. Wadi just wanted brainwashed consumers. They wanted to sell their silly toy to billions and rule over a virtual world. They have no imagination. Aingana. She's met Aingana. Meet Aingana. It took me decades to design and build her. She spans dimensions, taps into the dream energies. She's quite the thing. But she's actually not the first. Wadi had the prototype. They used her to operate the beta version of Dreamnet. After she was destroyed, we built Eingana 2. She operates the version of Dreamnet currently processing and recording the dreams of hundreds of millions of Dream Machine users. And now, we're reversing the process with you 
as the conduit, connecting quantum fields, connecting dream time with reality, Aingana will begin to alter our observable universe. Don't look so worried, Zoe. You won't need to do anything. She knows what to do. I've programmed her, and my template will guide her. Together, you'll make a better world. A world without sickness or death, a world without superstition, intolerance. A world where everyone's equal, where justice and compassion will prevail. A world not ruled by corporations or religions, but by science and logic, by rational thought. A better world. What? I need to stall for time. Keep her talking until I can figure out a way to open this pod. She's waiting for me to respond. I think she needs me to understand. If I don't say anything... Hmm. Hmm. She's waiting for me to respond. I think Silence. she needs me to understand. If I don't say anything... She... I know this is a lot to take in, and I don't expect you to understand all of it right away. But in time, you will. Here we go. What? This is a weird episode. So, I, I kind of, I kind of get it. The both of them are trying to change the world from either side of the like story time. I suppose that's what you could say. <gasps> Crow. Crow. Crow, is that you? I think so. I'm. I'm supposed to show you something. What? Oh, Crow. Why? What are you doing here? And. Where is here? I don't know. I don't even know how I got here. I'm I'm a, a bit uh, a bit I don't feel right. I'm not sure what happened and Aww. I'm not sure I'm all here if that makes sense. Mm, no. No. Yeah, no. I can see how that makes no sense. What are you supposed to show me? Oh, I almost forgot. So the ghost in the machine told me to do this thing. This one last thing. The ghost said that this has been my destiny all along. I don't expect you'll know what I'm talking about. Crow, I don't even know where this is. A minute ago, I was inside a pod in a lab, and now... We're inside the quantum weave that makes all the stories. This is reality's blueprint. How did I know that? What does quantum mean? What's a blueprint? <laughs> well, that explains everything. That was sarcasm. I detect sarcasm. <laughs> this ghost in the machine, who was it? No idea. I remember nothing before meeting you here, aside from a ghost telling me to show you what I'm about to show you. And I don't even know what that is. Show me what? There's nothing here. Let's go find it. Oh, crow bed. Well, this is the um, Brian Westhouse's room, wasn't it? Does this look at all familiar to you? It looks like a monastery. There you go. Maybe that's it. That doesn't really help. Hey, that looks like a diary. I am at the crossroads between waking and dream. One path leads back to the world I left behind. The other path, the other path, leads to a place of shadows. Between the familiar and the unknown, between certainty and doubt, my choice would seem obvious. Any sane man would turn around, return to the world he knows, forget what he has learned, and live his life in blissful ignorance but in truth it is too late my choice was made many years ago when I first embarked on this journey I cannot turn back I am at a crossroads but for me there is only one path I leave behind these words in the hope that 
someday, they will serve as a map for someone else. To whomever reads this, Godspeed on your journey. If you ever decide to follow in my footsteps, look me up. Brian Westhouse. Brian Westhouse? Our Westhouse? The plot thickens. Thickens or just getting more muddled. Mm. I don't know what this is supposed to tell us. That Westhouse is involved? There's that, I guess. Come on, there's more. We're ready, traveler. Your journey is about to begin. The okay. ritual is ready. Step onto the dais, traveler. Up, Brian. Okay, so what just happened? Portals. They're all over the place. Let's follow him. Through the... Wait! This is the story time. You know this place? I remember. I was here. For a long time. It's the place between. I didn't want to wake up and they... They needed me. The people who were dreaming. They were sick. I tried to help them. Uh-huh. Interesting. But we need to see what's going on. I'm supposed to show you this. Ah, oh, it's him. That guy. What are you doing here? You cannot be here. Oh. It will find you. I don't. Where am I? What is this place? How did you get here? Go back the way you came, quickly. You cannot stay. I, I don't know how to go. It is here. What have you done? What have you done? And in the darkness. What do you mean? What? The undreaming. Yeah. God. What is that? What? No. 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 So it's going to go into more depth of this. Of what this was. What is that terrifying thing? That's the undreaming. I know it is. I feel it. Well. That's going to give me nightmares for a long, long time. <laughs> the Undreaming entered West House. Sure did. Was he looking for it? Is that why he came here? So maybe I did a good job of not letting him stay. I guess that's what you're supposed to figure out. Come on, we have more places to visit. This is kind of going through my decisions and stuff. It's kind of like that. Um, the thing where it pops up and says like all oh, what happened and it's gonna affect go on jump off is that Brian what He needs to die. Nobody's. He's got the undreaming in him, so that's why he's like the way he is. Okay, so we we need to kill the undreaming. I don't. I don't think Westhouse has anything real to do with it. Oh, the interlude. What saga? back what home sweet home it 
It must be what a year since I last visited. She's got like a walkman. And who knows how long it's been for the house? Could be a day, could be decades. Balance. I need to get moving. There's not much time until the song lines align. Let's see. Elixir, a good rope, a spatula, chop chop saga. Spatula, check. Uh. I remember something about being chastised. The house was holy. I was not allowed to harm it. There's nothing I need in there. It's been so quiet up here since Papa left. Much as I want to, I can't just wander down random paths today. I have prophecies to fulfill. Prophecies? So, I, I don't get who she is. I put away most of their stuff when Papa left. What's the point in keeping things around? It's not like they're ever coming back. Can I not go in the basement? Okay. So I still need rope. I still don't like to go into the downstairs. It's not anchored in the same way. There are rifts, ether vapors, not to mention ugh, void beetles. Too many memories. Was I happy here? I was basically a prisoner. But I guess I didn't know any better. A rope. Rope check. And elixir. I'll move those out of here. Someday. Well, I don't know what this elixir is meant to look like. I guess it's gonna look obvious. I'm out of the elixir. Oh. Okay, I knew that. No worries, Saga. This is all part of the plan. I'm fairly certain the recipe's in the compendium. There should be enough time to prepare a bottle. Prophecies can't be wrong, can they? No. Right? All right. Let's see. Elixir of extraordinary extra human strength. Elixir of multiple consecutive climaxes. Elixir of selective remembrance. Hmm. There. Elixir of delayed onset of mortality. That's the one. Keep ticking after you've taken a licking. Page 108. Dried blood bog blossoms. Leaf Shut of up, old oak. Boiled in strong liquor. Those things should be easy enough to find around here. Uh, what? Like, in the potions? Ready for elixir making. Ready for elixir making. Okay, so... Dries the blue bog Great wine, but not enough alcohol for my purposes. Also, boiling this would be sacrilege. Uh, uh. Oh, there's a thing. Jade green baiju. High grade stuff, too. I'd almost forgotten about this little bottle of liquor. This should be more than good enough. Right, okay. Uh, and then dried stuff, which I have no idea. Best oh. wine I ever had. There were no grapes in that world, but the berries they used, oh, absolutely sublime. Hmm. Where is it? Shepherd's heart. A powerful herb, but not what I need today. Is
Isn't the house supposed to take care of all living things inside it? I didn't know I had to water the flowers. Oh, but wait, maybe... Maybe what? I devoured those books when I was younger. It was all I had of the outside world. My books and Uncle Galeth. But he was careful not to say too much. He knew I was too curious. Um... Can I see anything else? I thought Papa got rid of Hugsy. I still don't like to go into the downstairs. It's not anchored in the same way. There are rifts, ether vapors, not to mention ugh, void beetles. What a mess. But there should be void oak leaves here. Ah. Leaf of void oak, nice and dry. Okay. So now we're just at the dried blood bog blossoms. Uh, blossoms anywhere? What are you? Shepherd's heart. Dry oh, there you go. Blossoms. Check. I think that's it. That wasn't too bad. And there's still time on the clock. Time to boil up some elixir. Ready for elixir making. Mm -hmm. That's the alcohol heating nicely. Mmm, nice. Bit of a waste, but it's for a good cause. Dried leaves. Dried leaf, crumpled to a fine dust. And blossoms. And whole blossoms. Perfect. Now it just needs to boil again. How do I know when this is done? Will there be a... Yeah. Definitely a poof. <laughs> Looks the right color. And it's already cooled down. I love alchemy. So much easier than chemistry. Laws of science need not apply. Rope, spatula, elixir. Check, check, and check. I think that's everything. With only minutes to spare, you'd almost think the stars are aligning on purpose. Except no stars, paths. Time to go knock down a wall. Knock down a wall. With my bare hands? No, Papa did too good a job with the masonry. Uh... Oh, I see a hammer. Where does that see it? This should do the trick. No, sorry. Good saga. Nice. Wonder if you actually see where she's going or anything at any point. That'd be nice. Oh, we do. You know that feeling when paths don't line up with where you want to go? That feeling. In all fairness, when these song lines were first sung, I don't think these walls were here. Or these metal gears. No worries. I come prepared. Because prophecies. What?
What is all of this? And why can I walk around that yet? Right, okay, well Whoa. My eyes are glowing. Oh That's weird. Well like I don't know, an alien. Um but that's where I'm gonna leave this episode. Everything seems like it's coming to a close now, so I don't know how many more episodes we've got, but yeah. Like I said, that's where I'm gonna leave this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until next time guys. Peace.